Hi. Oh, hi, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Stan. Hello, Jessica Penny. Welcome back to Menace and the Man. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Jessica, are you talking to Stan on the low? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who's on? Who do we got today? He's like, Jessica Penny. I was like, oh, word? <laughs> you guys sneaking behind my back? That's my I mean, home girl. Sorry. Hey, Stan, she's coming to uh, the East Coast soon. For what? Go on, Jessica. Um, I will be there on the for the 16th the CFFC card. Oh, um, you do I the do ring announcing the or color commentary. No, I do behind the scenes interview, and they'll they'll let me hop in with the guys and do some color sometimes too. Oh. Super fun. So, Jess, is that like where we're going with this? I see you. Yeah. You know, in LA. I mean, why not? You got the look. You got the knowledge. You got the. You know, you're well spoken. Oh, I thank you so much. You're yeah. so kind. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I agree. It's a new. It's a new thing for you. It's like really nice. I like it. A new thing from me? Yeah, being nice and giving compliments. <laughs> it's like I appreciate it. I'm no, always seriously. nice. <laughs> I mean, I'll still break your leg, but I'm really nice. <laughs> hey, we were talking earlier about how, like, if I don't like you, I don't make, I won't make fun of you. That's a dear form of of love. From, from my I, life. for me, if I don't make you cry, I don't really love you. So I'm still like trying to learn a balance of like, you know, when to pull it back. Like, you know, just, you if know, I you don't, don't make, make you the people cry, that you love. I don't love you. Yeah, I get like, <laughs> I make people really uncomfortable. Um, I was just, I'm at the PI right now and I was just hanging out with my good friend, Justine. Um, and we've known each other. We just had like our six year anniversary of like friendship. Um, From tough. Part of the reason we've, yeah. Yeah. And part of the reason um, we've had such like a good longstanding friendship is because it's like a long distance friendship. Right. But like whenever we see each other, we just like we talk crap to each other and we're like really rude to each other, but in a very loving way. And it I realize like I make people or we make people uncomfortable with our interactions because they don't really know us. Right. So sometimes we go too far. So poor Clint Wantenberg, he like looked at both of Oof. us like really awkwardly and just was like, Okay, bye and just like walked away. I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot. Clint Wattenberg you know? is the nutritionist at the UPI for everybody. Yes, and he's he's absolutely amazing, so knowledgeable. It's, oh, it's awesome so that he's here for us. So sick. Yeah. Um, man, hang on. Jess, I don't think you're ever going to make me cry. Maybe, well, maybe you don't, you you don't, don't love me you that know? much. That, that could be that, too. Ooh. Yeah, so maybe I... Ooh, that oh, might be it. Maybe I'm wow. taking the hint here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you thought we were closer than we were. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know Dennis. That's as far as it I'm goes. actually. Hey, I actually might go upstairs tonight and cry myself to sleep. So <laughs> I'm like, you didn't make me cry. <laughs> I'm like, Stan, <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> Listening back to the episode, like, was she yeah. joking or was she being serious? <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. No, Jessica Penny seems like a sweetheart, but I can see that little attitude that she has going. Oh no! Yeah, she is the the sweetest, meanest girl you'll ever meet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. She's got like these like little dolly eyes, and she has a <laughs> smile to her. And then she'll her mouth will open up. You're like, oh. Okay. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> and then you'll watch her fight, and you're like, oh, okay. She just she doesn't even care about anything. <laughs> yeah. Any fights on the horizon for you, Jessica? No, no. I'm I'm working through some stuff. I, I injured my ankle in I, I saw that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I am so coordinated and just, you know, so athletic that I sprained my ankle very severely warming up for my fight in February. So it's been um Oh that's right. Of... <laughs> like the day before the fight, right? Or like the day like before day of the it was fight. like the day of. It was yeah. like the morning warm up. Um it was it's been rough. But, um, yeah, just working through some stuff um, and hoping to be fighting by the end of the year. But, you know, sometimes life throws curveballs at you. But luckily I have some, you know, other stuff I'm working on, like CFFC. And I love doing the commentary and um, behind-the-scenes stuff and the analyst work in studio. It's amazing. And that's, you know, what I'm hoping to 
transition into for during and post fighting. Hey, I'm all about it. I'm full bore team penne fucking get her. Give her the mic. Oh, Dennis. I Give love her the you. Fucking mic. <laughs> yes, Otherwise she'll tell fucking take it. <laughs> Otherwise I'll stab you with it. You That's know? all you need. Like give me the mic and someone like resists you on the mic and then arm bar. Wow. <laughs> Wrist lock. Yeah. I do love me an arm bar, you know? Nah, I see her fucking Throw, using her goddamn judo throws lately. They've been popping I, up on I the love IG. love the judo. Love the judo. Oh, and I have an awesome judo coach, so, you know, can't go wrong there. So how's the ankle doing? Is the healing, is it coming along or setbacks? It, it is. We've had, yeah, I've had um, some setbacks and just not healing right. But um, there's an amazing new, um, uh, she's a chiropractor. And... Um, at the I mean, UPI uh, or in at the Cali. yeah at the PI and I just by chance like I love how life works out but just by chance I ended up um, coming in uh, to the PI I thought I was just gonna um, come to Vegas for the weekend and leave and then opportunity came around so I was like you know I'm gonna go to the PI I'm gonna get some some work done and she like increased my mobility by by a lot so I'm really excited um, yeah. and then you know gave me somebody to see in California because I really haven't been doing the the proper um, like rehab on it. So I'm, yeah. I'm definitely excited. Yeah. It's so like we said, we are friends and <laughs> we make fun of each other from time to time. So with that being said, oh, God. you are no spring chicken. How many more, how much longer are you going to stay in the game? You know, I don't know. It's, it's, um, you're just feeling it out. I am. I'm feeling it out. I've had, Um, I've been fighting for over a decade and I've had, um, you know, recently just, you know, the past few years have been a lot of setbacks in my competitive life. Yeah. However, like it has given me so much time to work on myself internally. Right. And I feel, you know, very mentally, emotionally, physically strong. I mean, minus the ankle thing, but I just feel like I'm in a really good place and I'm really excited to compete for a while. Um, competition became really exhausting and I, and I didn't want to do it and I was just working through so much stuff yep. but um I started you know I took my my long layoff as an opportunity to work on what I've been neglecting most of my life and that's the internal stuff and it's um it's really made like a huge difference in me right because so we definitely excited the last time we had you on you were you touched on that a little bit and I was like oh is that why you're a cold person that's nice but funny but fucking will kill you <laughs> because <laughs> the thing is she puts up these like uh these memes on her instagram i'm like yep that's exactly her no i love her memes like why are you fucking looking at me i'm trying to drink my coffee <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well i mean now i just have to make fun of myself i mean that's you know that's definitely part of myself and it used to really hold me back and now i've you know completely embraced it and i make fun of it and i make light of it and i allow people to you know talk shit and make fun of it too because it, it really did like completely stop me from you know having you know relationships friendships um job opportunities all sorts of things that really blocked me so now i just make fun of it right and I embrace it, you know? You got to. You yeah, gotta because, it. like, you know the fat kid that doesn't think he's fat, and if you make fun of him being fat, he, like, gets all pissed off? No one likes that fucking kid. But the fat kid Nobody. that makes... But the fat kid that makes fun of himself because he's fat, everybody loves that kid. <laughs> right? Is that... Is that... I just hit that yeah. on the nail? No, that is... That is so spot on. That is, like, the Thank perfect... <laughs> that's Thank That's you. a great analogy. But, um, yeah, I've just really learned to not take myself so seriously or things so seriously or personally. You used to take everything personally, and that's, like, part of the wall. Are you eating, like, food while you're talking to me? That's really rude. What are you doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? Sorry, I just... <laughs> you couldn't help yourself? You hungry, big boy? No. Uh, huh? Yeah. Well, no, I was looking at myself in the screen, and I have a tower of G Fuel, and I noticed I had some sweet tarts, extremely sour chili, leaned up against the tower, and I was like, man, those have been there for like three weeks, I should eat them. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone now. So you have the attention span of a gnat. Good job. Um, I was listening. So don't paint Dennis. Are we doing? I was listening the whole time. 
But I heard you mention Justine Kish, and we talked a little bit on Instagram. I would love to get a couple of the girls from Tough 20 on to reminisce mm-hmm. about. Or that. Man, you know what? I was literally just in the locker room at the PI having like a, a dance and sing party in our towels. Um, so only, if she comes down, only, 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 the only towels. You. That sounds pretty hot, actually. Who were you with? <laughs> It was just with Justine. It was just the two of us, and we scared some some of the gals that you know came in and out of the locker really quickly. Um, but you know, we have fun. We always have fun. Sames. We try. Me and me and Stan actually dance in just our towels over here and there, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, is that just a girl thing? Do guys do that? I feel like yeah. guys do that undercover. You know, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's a it's just a locker room thing for like both sexes. Now, was there music or were you guys singing? There, there was music. Um, what was yes, the song? There was. What, what was the song that got your feet moving? <laughs> um, I can't even remember. Justin, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> No, it was more like the never ending story or something like that. It was um might have even been like Rod Stewart or something. Who knows? Mm. Mm. Love me some Rod Stewart. So what's Jessica Penny's music choice? You seem like an eclectic uh, woman. Like what are you listening to? I love country. That's usually like yep. my go to, but yeah. I also am just like a sucker for the classics. Like I grew up listening to the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac and uh so I, I really stick to She shoots that. guns, Dan. Does she? Yeah. And I, I love shooting guns. Although since I've I've um, adopted horses a couple of years ago, I've like not been able to shoot as much. I think I'm still a pretty good shot. I Hang on. Oh yeah. Didn't, here, didn't, whoa, wait, wait. Whoa. Didn't she take you shooting? <laughs> yeah, she took me shooting. You need to start shooting while riding like a goddamn cowboy. <laughs> now it's 2019, a cow person. <laughs> I don't want to assume your gender. That's what I was wondering, like cow, <laughs> like a cowboy woman. What do you call that? A cow lady. A cowgirl. A cowgirl. Yeah, How idiot. stupid are we? You didn't get it either. You, you don't were watch thinking porn, Stan. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> He's probably married. They only have mommy daddy sex, which is missionary. That's probably all they do. He doesn't know about the the cowgirl stuff. Ooh, Stan, tell her what you know. No, I know a little bit about a lot, actually. <laughs> Stan, she said you're probably... Hang on. Stan's actually the the total opposite of married with kids. Yes. Really? Yeah, he hates girls. And- no, why would you say that I hate girls? I don't hate women. I love women. I just don't want to love one woman. I want to love a bunch oh of women. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Stan. Hang on, Jess. He actually needs like a. He actually needs therapy. <laughs> well, I know a place out here in Vegas. Okay. When you're ready to start, you know, digging in and working on yourself, hit me up, Dan, and what? I'll and I'll give you the invite. Why do I need therapy, Dennis? What? Because I don't want to get married. Hang on. He got smoked by like two different chicks, and he's like, "Nah, fuck girls, done with them." I'm like, "All right." I didn't get smoked in like the sense oh, of like that. My. I'm the reason I got smoked because I didn't want to get married. Okay. Where does that come from? I don't know. I just don't want to get married. I see a lot of people get divorced. I see a lot of people have kids and then get divorced, and it doesn't look like it's an easy Well, thing. that doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen to you. I mean, we can't compare, you know. Mm. That's not Ooh. fair. That's not fair to you or anybody Well, it's not else. fair to a significant other. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now, the same token, he's probably not wrong, because I watch Stan... With, like he'll be talking with a girl. I'm like, oh, nice. He's gonna hook up with her. Like sick. Like something they got something going good going on. Whatever. And then I'll go to the bathroom. I'll come back. They'll be in a full blown fight. I'm like, Stan, <laughs> what? You just met this girl. It looked like she was going back to your place, and now you guys are actually in a fight. Like as if you guys were dating. What happened? He's like, she said that was blue. It's clearly, oh it's clearly green. Well, I mean, he wouldn't, he wouldn't fight over that. But what Stan's problem is, is like if something is not right, he has to let you know that it is right. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, like so you know what I've learned, um, and this is like a huge thing for me. When I'm trying to be right, I'm trying to make somebody else wrong, and nobody wants to. You know, right. told that they're wrong right. all the time. I'm not going to lie and just agree with some random girl in the bar just to take her home. Well, why even? That's like, exactly when just, you would you do know. it. I get that that's what I should be doing and what I want to do, but clearly it wasn't oh that God. girl. We just didn't gel uh. the way that we should have gelled. So let's have a little argument and go our separate ways. <laughs> but it's so funny. You'd be like, no, no. Fuck you. And I'm like, Stan, <laughs> what are you doing? Bro, I never Stan. say fuck you to a girl oh like that. Oh, my gosh. I argue intellectually with women. Okay. 
is how I put Oh, it. no. It'll be like her friend will come up and back her up and be like, who are you? Why don't you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> like, Stan, obviously her friend's coming over because you're, you know, you're flexing right now. Flexing hard. I'm not letting these girls Yikes. get away with, you know, lying. Saying so, um, Jess, I should have reached out on a personal note, but uh, you lost one of your pups. I did. Ludo. Oh, my baby boy. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I, hang on. And then it, like, clicked for me because you got a new dog. Now, was that kind of planned? You know? No, I swear. Again, it's because Luda looked very before. like healthy and just moving and like a strong dog. How old was he? He was ten and a half, and so I he mean, was up he, there. He was, but I mean, that's not nearly old enough, you know. Um, for me, I thought I had you for know, you or for the you know, breed. At least, well, for me personally, um, I thought I had a couple more years at the very least, you know, because he, I mean, he was, you know, a. A bully breed and they're they're kind of mixed so they tend not to have you know these severe you know health problems that can take him out early but he ended up um being diagnosed with osteosarcoma which is a very very aggressive uh bone cancer okay and so um i came back from from coachella i was working a cffc event and he was limping while it's gone and i was like oh you do this like what did you do you yeah, know yeah, i mean yeah. he's old and he's yeah. he's like 105 pounds i'm like all right Lap but dog. it didn't go away uh <laughs> it didn't go away so i took him to the vet and they did an x-ray and they're like um, i'm really glad that you brought him in um this is the diagnosis it could be something else but we're really sure it's this so we did a, a few more tests and um, they just, they, they let me know that I had a very limited amount of time with him. Right. Um, so that was fucking heartbreaking. I mean, yeah. I'm still, I'm still heartbroken, but, um, yeah, 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 he was, he was my baby. I was there on the day he was born and, and the day he passed. So he was very special, very special man in my life. Yeah. Um, and then, but prior to Ludo's, you know, passing, you had gotten this, uh, the, a new dog, which is kind of I like, I did. He's like a, a German Shepherd on steroids. <laughs> she's she's a Belgian Shepherd, which okay. are um, like uh, cousins with the German Shepherds. They and have the straight Dutch backs. Shepherds. Yes, they do, and um, they're very athletic. They're used like in in military, and they're um, service dogs. Super super smart. Um, she's a very very smart girl, and and luckily like Ludo had some PTSD. He was attacked by by another dog, um, so he was very um selective of what kind of personality type he would get along with with other dogs mm -hmm. and he took to her really quickly and um i again i think like everything works out the way it's supposed to and i think that you know she was a gift to me to help me you know and support me through yeah. like, his his passing so sure. it was it was crazy timing and i'm very lucky to have her and she's um She's been keeping me busy. She's super smart, super high energy. Nothing, nothing like my old boy <laughs> who liked to nap and, and cuddle with me and she right. wants to go. So, yeah. <laughs> so the, the new girl, what's the girl's name? Her name is Astrea. She's named Astrea. after the Greek goddess of just of um, judgment. She's not a, she's not a lap dog. She is tiny enough to be a lap dog. And she'll like cuddle sometimes, but she likes to go mostly. She's yeah. nine months old and, you know, has a, a lot of energy. So that German Belgian shepherd breed, they are constantly looking for direction and the next thing to do. Right. Yeah. And if you don't, they'll start breaking you. shit. <laughs> exactly. So you um, have her with you all the, all the time or. Um, all the time she is, uh, she is like registered as a, a support dog and I have all of her documents so she can go anywhere with me. I didn't take her to Vegas this time just cause it's, it's too hot. So she's at home with a roommate. Okay. Um, but it's awesome having, like I went from having Luda where like I had to be pretty lazy, careful. right? You... Yeah. Um, to this active puppy where we'll go on like, you know, a three to six mile trail run. And then she's like, Hey, let's throw the ball. And I'm like, no, 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 let's take a nap. And she's like, no, 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 we're, we're going to do this. Otherwise I'm going to go like fuck something up. So come on, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so what has she, so obviously she's fucked some shit up. Yes. <laughs> go on. Um, <laughs> nothing, nothing terribly wrong, but I love gardening. I love my plants and this little, 
She is. Amazing. She actually is the definition oh, of a sure. bitch. Go ahead. You can call her that. She, this, this little bitch <laughs> that I love so much. Uh, <laughs> um, ha, like dug up some newly planted roses. She like <sighs> took some of my succulents out. She like rearranged a lot of my pots and um, yeah. So, so um, yeah, she's, she's been a lot of fun. Keeps me on my toes. Yeah. Keeps you young again, right? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I saw something. Let me find it. It said something about how like a dog is like having a sugar daddy. Like when you have a dog. Except for they don't pay for shit. Yeah, like you're just paying, paying, paying. For... Oh, you're the sugar da- daddy. They're, they're dog. a sugar baby. I'm a yeah. sugar mama. Yeah. Wow. It was funny. Let me find it. Oh, being, I mean... being a pet owner is like being a sugar daddy. You waste all your money on keeping them happy. And the only thing they do is look cute and give you attention sometimes. <laughs> wow that's probably going up on jessica's story tomorrow <laughs> you know, why, why just forward it to her okay we'll do we'll yeah. do make it easier so all she has to do is just add it to her story right yeah i would love to i love seeing stuff on my story like yeah. that so now what are you still in california or you're not living in vegas are you no i'm i'm just here we're gonna um head back home tonight uh, i think we're just going to stay for a couple fights of the contender series and then get out of here that's right that's tonight Ooh, why don't yeah. you what you should get on dana's uh horn get on his phone and tell him you want to do some commentary for that Ooh, Ooh, that's a good idea it's the only yeah, time I'm we just have to get here practice as much as possible yeah when's the next cffc um it is august 16th in atlantic city oh so you'll be here soon are you here just for the weekend yeah, the days. 15th, 16th, and 17th. Okay. I was thinking maybe we can... Uh, are, are you guys still doing two straws? You know what we have? And we're trying to kind of reformat and play around with some other stuff. And Angela's fought, like, I think she's... This will be her fifth fight this year. Um, yes. So, yeah, she's she's keeping herself busy and just really, you know, <laughs> really staying active. So it hasn't really given us much room for that. Well, when you're here, we should try to get together and do Menace and the Man. We'll get you in studio with us, and we'll no, call we Angela Hill. To, we would have to. We'd have to go to AC. Oh, she's... you would get to go to AC. That sounds like a great idea. You can meet me there. <laughs> we would <laughs> get to go to AC. Mm-hmm. And see just and see the lovely Jessica Penny. Yeah. Pot- uh, hey, yeah. potential. Sounds like a fun time to me. Potential. And produce an episode of Two Straws for her and her BFF. Potential. Just, just think about it. You know. It's in the air. It's in the air. So what's okay, uh, it out there. what's Jessica Penny's relationship status at the moment? Oh, so single. So single. <laughs> is is so single more single than just regular single? Yeah, so single. I have no time for that shit. I am just not interested. What if the right guy came along? Um Go ahead, no. pitch it. Pitch, pitch pitch your line, Stan. Pitch my lines, Jessica yeah. Penny. Yeah, go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> I don't have lines like that. I just talk to them, and if I have chemistry with them, then I have chemistry with them. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. And that's not where I was going with this until you just threw it in there. But... <laughs> right. Hey, Jessica, isn't that where it seemed like he was going with this? <laughs> no? I, I mean, maybe. Oh, all right. I was. So how about this? What's your type, Jessica? Um, I'm still figuring that out. Um, hmm. My, my. Um... Attractive. Well, obviously, yeah. Stan, you're Great out. Personality. I'm attractive enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> enough. You know. I'm sure there's a height requirement, Dennis. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Uh, that was too easy. Uh, me and Dennis have very corny jokes for each other. I usually make fun of his height, and he just makes. Well, fun you could, you know, you could put the argument. Everyone's the same height when they're laying down, right, Stan? Oh, this is true. Whoa. This is true. Okay, back to Jessica Penne. <laughs> give us a quick, give us a quick little rundown. What does the guy look like who you might let you take? On does he drive motorcycles? Does he have tattoos? Is he uh, a professional athlete? Is he a, uh, an actor? Is is he straight edge, blue collar, white collar? Does he have long hair? Is he clean <laughs> cut? Does he have a beard? Does he have a mustache? You know what? Maybe that is why I am still single. I have to like really write down. I have to like, you know, put on my projection board, my manifestation mm. board, like what I'm looking for. Mm. 
Or you could put it out there right now. Put it out in the universe, yeah. Yara Menace and the Man, and maybe it'll come to fruition. Huh. <laughs> we were saying how I haven't gotten married. Maybe I just haven't met Jessica Penna yet. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You are smooth, mister. I don't know how you're still single. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a choice. I'm probably similar to Jessica. I don't want to, the, uh, the term settling down. Okay. Or just settle on someone. Nope. Honestly, like, um, again, with like the self work, self work stuff, I've just realized so many patterns and, and stuff that isn't working. So when I'm, I'm very like focused on just my transformation and becoming the best version of myself possible and trying to add somebody into the mix just isn't what I'm interested in right now. So, okay. I think the move for everybody is to find someone that makes you a better person, makes you happy and um like makes life easier for you not necessarily meaning that they're doing things for you but just kind of like a giving and go kind of kind of thing like you know like a te- like a like a pa- the, the the power couple mm-hmm. you know like hey mm-hmm. we need milk you got milk cool all right i'm over here i'm going to get fucking detergent <laughs> right <laughs> or or you pay the bills and i'll fucking make sure this house is spotless or i right these are these are kind of trades if you will and <laughs> and you're fucking funny and handsome and or for some guys like man just just really do a good <laughs> do a good job in the bedroom is that what yeah. you mean? <laughs> That's true as well. Some guys, yeah. It's yeah, but those usually aren't the relationships that work out. Right, because then they get old and they can't do the same moves that they used to do. Yeah. And lust. Well, Level I less, think, who was I lust. just talking to? I feel like when, you know, and I mean it doesn't need to be this, but, you know, when you're getting too old and you can't, like, function properly, get a sex swing. And then, you know. A sex what? You don't have to worry about, swing. like, throwing out your back or your knees. Swing. Or, you know, a sex swing? Else. Yeah. Okay. That, like, you know takes the challenge yeah but you also have to have a partner that's open-minded if they're like what a sex that's what you think we need a sex swing like whoa i was just (laughs) so how would you how would you introduce that into the bedroom you just came in one day and like look what i got on amazon (laughs) no yeah. I don't. I don't know. Either a conversation, or I would no, I think have it up one day, and she'd be like, no, "What is that?" And be no, like, it's, I, I think it's having ours. it up one day. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the move would be like, uh, "Hey, let's spice it up a little bit." And they're like, "No," and they're like, "All right, okay, fine." <laughs> and they're like, "Well, what are you thinking?" And you kind of, you know. Throw some shit at the wall, see if it sticks. Ease it in there nice and slow. Hey, let's go. Hang on. Let's go to a sex shop. Let's go check that out. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Hang on. Dude, this is a true story. I was dating this girl, right? We were in Pennsylvania, and we went into a sex shop, and we're checking out. The guy's like, oh, dude, you fought the other night. And I was like, um, yep. (laughs) <laughs> and dude I was pro but I wasn't in the UFC it was just like a local show <laughs> yeah. like oh dude were. I saw you fight there and I was like uh, what <laughs> sure it was me <laughs> <laughs> I think I got like a free condom or like a cock ring or some shit I'm sure that guy tells that story to this day he plays poker with his buddies like I sold Dennis Bermuda as a cock ring bro what have exactly. you done with your life so Jessica Penny, maybe uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get Menace out to Atlantic Dad's City for the day. definitely going to try and get you I am into not. a sex store <laughs> in Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place in there, aren't they? What did you guys do for your first date? Well, this fucking idiot took me to a sex <laughs> shop thinking it was on, but I'm never calling that guy again. <laughs> uh, Jesus. All right, so Jessica, before we let you go, we got to get your side because obviously Dennis thinks he didn't almost fight oh, Travis Brown. right. So what happened that night? You guys are hanging out. Let's hear your version. Uh, with, <laughs> with Travis Brown? Yes. <laughs> um, God, where were we? We were in um, Sacramento. We were in, it was after I thought the, we were in LA. No, it was oh. Sacramento. It was after um, I just got out of Ultimate Fighter, and it was our, it was like our, um, 
it was a fight appearance to um to promote the ultimate fighter finale i believe if i remember correctly i mean it's been several years but um we were all at you know out at a you know social gathering having a couple drinks having fun and mr bermuda's tried to you know freaking fight the no! No! biggest person in the UFC. <laughs> no! Oh, no, no! 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't. She's think... a lightweight, dude. She needs. She had like two drinks. She's like, woo! Here's what happened. We went around. The... We went. Me and Travis had to walk around the club. He was like, oh shit, I'm buying shots. Buys like fucking six shots for everybody. Everybody has shots. Cheers. Drinks them. Guess who's still holding their shot? Jessica Penne. He's like, hey, Jessica, you're not going to have a shot? She's like, uh, I don't want it. He goes, okay. Takes it. He goes, you're going to drink it, Dennis. I said, that's funny because no, I'm not. And he was like, no, you're going to drink it. And I was like, I turned to Jess. I said, Jess, I need you to take the shot because if you don't, I'm fist fighting <laughs> Travis Brown right now because I'm, I refuse to take the shot. She was like, oh, fine. And she fucking was my hero that night. <laughs> I saved your life. Well, I was going to punch and run. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was my favorite was after I took a picture of you and him, and then when I showed it to you, you realized like how ginormous this guy yeah, is. He was resting his you. fucking arm he on my head. He was resting his arm on your head. Yeah. And in that moment, you turned to me and said, "Thank you. You yep. saved my life." <laughs> yep. <laughs> That almost went south real quick. Real recognize, real. Well, yo, we need to get Travis on. Yes. Jessica, you fucking at him. I'm gonna at him. We're gonna fucking get him on here. But we got gotta it. we gotta word that story properly. Enough's enough. He, Travis Brown needs to know about the fight that he didn't even know was even on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> the storm that was brewing. Yeah. Little does he know. Little does he know. Little menaces, little well, the funniest thing is when you told the story that you played it out in your head and you were like, when I hit him, he didn't go down. So it wasn't going to be good after you yeah, even hit him. Yeah, I was going to just run right through the crowd because we were like, like kind of like a VIP-ish section, right? Yeah, it was a really cool like bar lounge. Yeah, I was going to jump. I was going to step. I was going to jump on the bench and jump off the bench, crow hop, and then just run right into the crowd off that. He would have been like, did you just fall into And me? he was going to be like, Dude, what the f- did you just fall into yeah. me? Like, did you just? Yeah. <laughs> Why did he leave? <laughs> what's wrong? what's his problem? Dennis like bumped into <laughs> me and then took the off bathroom? running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, full foot taller than yeah. you. He's got you by like eighty pounds. Cuts. I think he cuts two sixty five. He's a big. No, boy. he's huge. He's, he's huge. ginormous. Yeah. He's yeah, like the biggest human I've ever seen in yeah, person. Bro. Yeah, probably pretty strong too. You had a yes, chance. Yes, you are. You had a yes, chance, Menace. Are. Yeah, God, snaps, you are. Snaps a single. Jess, grab the other leg. <laughs> She's like, nah. <laughs> You're on your own, homie. Should have took the shot, bro. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> and she didn't take it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then after which would have been Team Travis. Like, yeah, that's fucked up. You didn't take that <laughs> shot, man. What a dick. I know. I am definitely notorious for not for not uh, taking shots and just you me know, not a shot. too <laughs> but you look like a shot taker you know what you do you do What's, hang on what exactly does a shot taker look like <laughs> to me a shot taker looks like the fucking fat guy <laughs> with the fucking camo hat at the end of the bar you know you just look like a guy who likes to have a good time yeah. and doesn't really you know doesn't really care like oh here's a shot yeah party oof what do you know? That's all. I'm, that's all I'm saying. You know, you're a good time. That's I've, I've, I feel like I've, uh, so I, the last few camps, I was doing apple cider vinegar shots, and someone told me about like, yo, blow out all of your air and then take it, and it's not that bad. And I was like, I started doing that, then I started applying that to shots. And I'm like, whoa, this works a little bit. There's something behind that. There's something. Blow out all of your air, take the shot, and then. Just try and get the fucking taste out of your mouth. As soon as you can. Because okay. I feel like I have like a weird, like a gag reflex when I take a shot. Like as soon as the alcohol hits the back of my throat, it's like, what? We're trying to get this out. 
Instantly. If I even like, I have a, a reflex <sighs> to a shot before it even like touches my Same. lips. I literally just, Same. I, I'm like, oh god, no. Same. <laughs> like as soon as it, as soon as it like fucking passed like my fucking mouth, you know, as soon as it passed my lips, it's just like, ah, oh, throw up, just get it out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's mm. the worst. Well, you almost died one day for turning one down, but we're happy that you're still here. Two days, two times. Two times, yeah. Tai Tuvas almost beat him up one time too for turning <laughs> down a shot. That, that's a thing with like Hawaiians or Australians. Yeah, like, like take a shot. I'm like, nah, I'm good, nah. I gave you a shot. You will take it. Like, nah, I told you not to get it from me. <laughs> well, well ne- now menace learn. Next time he might take that shot. Well, I have my new breathing technique where I blow all my air and I fucking swallow. Or liquid. when they all take it, just throw it over your shoulder and be like, oh, God. Yeah, but oh, if they God. saw you do that, say you, I'm might so- well, you might as well splash in their damn face. Say I'm so fucked up I missed my mouth, uh, guys. Yeah, make it like you're just Yeah, fucking. Jessica bumped me. Yeah. That's what we should have did. <laughs> You had a lot of ways you could have played that other than That's I'm going to get into a fight with yeah. the biggest guy in Versus the bar. Versus like, yeah. yeah, let's fucking slug this one out. Are you seven foot? Nope. Good for you because it's, <laughs> it's fucking on, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, Jessica Penny, we appreciate your time. And uh, Hey, thanks for having me again, guys. Yeah, it's like always the best. Time. I feel like we had a real bro zest right now. Oh, for sure. I, yeah. I enjoy it thoroughly, seriously. Yeah. And when you guys come to Atlantic City and visit me, we'll have – a really fun session too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get Stan's gonna buy me a room and drive me and buy me drinks and all those things. Bro, I you need my what? money Stan's to take Jessica on a date. What do you mean? Well, I need to spend my money wisely that weekend. I'm going third wheel. Oh, you're gonna ooh, that'd be nice. You can come and do color commentary on our date. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> Stan amazing, trying actually. to put his arm around her. She and Stan's is... going in for a oh he's getting looks, denied. Looks like she's wrist locking him. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Jessica, we don't want to go too creepy on you, but maybe one day. If I can, I'm going to put that on my vision board, go on a date with Jessica Penny. God willing. And see if that comes to fruition. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much again for having me. All right, you're the best. All right, bye. Miss you. Bye.